Welcome back to another bonus edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I am 12 Kyle. Check this out. Uh, a little while back, I did a bonus episode on a scenario. Uh, it was this website, they put out these scenarios where people write in. I, I assume that they're real, <laughs> um, but they write in about, you know, issues that they have and, um, they solicit responses from people, right? So uh, I just happened to stumble across this in my right in my readings, you know, on the internet. And so I did an episode about it called Let Me Sex Explain. And I enjoyed it. And <laughs> what happened was I found even more articles to talk about. So I decided for the time of this recording for this particular month, um, I'm going to make this my bonus episodes for the month. So let me intro introduce you to volume two. Uh, and then the scenario reads as follows. Quote, I got drunk at a wedding and I told a mutual friend about my wife's very special kink. And then the friend made a comment to my wife about it. She was embarrassed. And now she's pissed at me. Technically, we have never made any agreements about what's off limits to tell friends. But my wife says I should have known better. I guess I have a few questions for you. How do you make sure that this doesn't get out to more people? How do I make my wife not be mad at me? And did I really do something wrong? Close quote, signed, drunken mistake. <sighs> okay, it's a lot to unpack here, drunken mistake. Um, first of all, <laughs> let me start at the, let me start at the beginning. I got drunk at a wedding. That's where you went wrong right there, Playboy. Um, you can't you can't get drunk at public events. If you're gonna get drunk, drunk, get drunk at your own house. Don't get drunk at public events because when you get drunk at public events, you expose yourself and then people are left to assume that's how you get down, or you know, that's just how you kick it. And you might do something or say something, or both, that you'll ultimately regret. Um, <laughs> and then in the next breath, you said, I told a mutual friend about my wife's very special kink. All right. So here's where you really fucked up, right? I've made it, <laughs> I, I've made it just my own personal law. You don't talk about what you do sexually with people other than that particular person. Um, and I, I don't know. And now full disclosure, I, I'm married, been married uh, 22 years and my wife and I have only had sex once and we have four kids, but that's beside the point. <laughs> However, I, I don't, I don't, I, I've never, I, I'm, I don't want to say never. I cannot remember the last time that I had a conversation in which I discussed something with a mutual friend that I did sexually with anybody. Why? <laughs> Cause see, like, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm from old school. Like you don't necessarily have to brag on yourself. Like if you're good, you know, your work kind of speaks for itself, right? <laughs> for those of us who are good. Um, you know, but no, nah, it is what it is. I, I just, and here's the thing too, that I always kind of, I've observed. Um, I think, at least with, and I, and I, and I want to use all men. I'll just put it like the men that I knew and grew up around and were associated with. I think, 
men are more apt to talk about what they do sexually about a woman that they have no interest in as opposed to one that they do. So meaning if I like Shauna and me and Shauna get down, I have no problem. If I don't like her like that, I have no problem telling uh, Zell or Derek or Jay Fresh or Eclectic or whomever, right? But if I like her, I'm not telling anybody what we did in the bedroom. That's just, I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. Now, I know some guys, you know, any sexual conquest is a sexual conquest. So what, what they do, how they get down in the bedroom, they, they you know, they talk about it. Um, but no, nah, I just, I don't know, man. It, it, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. And, and here's the, here's the huge caveat. We ain't talking about some chick on the street. We're talking about your old lady, your wife, your whiz, your old earth, your, 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 your boo. <laughs> Maybe your baby mom. I don't know. This is your lady. I mean, why would you say anything about your wife? I mean, like, here's, 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 here's a, a little assumption that I have, right? If you have a wife, you're probably having sex with her. <laughs> I mean, I just any any time a guy introduced me to his wife, I'm assuming that he's having sex with her. And as uh, you know, anybody, anybody that I know, anybody that I come in contact with, I just I make that assumption. I assume that the two of them are having sex exclusively. I don't know that. That ain't none of my problem. Ain't none of my business. But I think it's a safe assumption. So having said all that, bruh, if you have a kink, if your wife has a kink, I don't know what, I, and he doesn't specify what the kink is. May, maybe his wife likes to <laughs> lick nipples. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But if that's the case, that's not something that you should tell a friend. Because a secret is never a secret once it's told. Period. Never share anything with anybody that you don't mind the world knowing. Because if you tell somebody, they have the potential to tell the world. Especially nowadays when you have the world on notice at your fingertips. I mean, it kind of is what it is, right? So yeah, that's where you fucked up at. You really shouldn't have done that, Playboy. Um, so no, you don't tell the friend. The friend was dead wrong for even mentioning it, even in passing to your wife. Um, and who knows? Maybe the friend got down like that too. Or who knows? Maybe the friend want to get down with you and the wife. I don't know. <laughs> and these are all things that you've kind of opened the door for. Um, so your question. How does this not get out to more people? You got to swear this person to secrecy, but there's no telling what they may say. You don't know when they're going to tell. I'm willing to bet, especially if this thing blew up, they're going to tell someone. I mean, the law of averages says that they will tell someone. They're not going to keep this and take it to the grave. See, that's another thing, too. Like we had we had a saying back in the 90s, take it to the grave. Meaning, like, it's some shit that just happens to you, and you just take it to the grave. I, it's, I, I put it like this: if you came through the '90s, there's probably a lot of things that you're going to take to the grave. <laughs> if you came through in the 2000s and the aughts and the 18s and all that, you're probably not taking a lot to the grave because a lot of people expose themselves on, on online. So, nah, they're not taking it to the grave. And here's the funny thing: like, when it comes to something like a kink, I mean. You could pretty much find whatever kink people are into online, or at least so, so I'm told. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would assume it's all online. So and so there are people that are doing these type of things, and they're not taking this stuff to the grave. They've opened up their bedrooms and their living rooms and their houses to show the world that hey, I'm on OnlyFans and this is what I do. This is how I get down. 
And if you like this, pay this $10 or $15 or $20, you can get down with me as much as you like. And that's cool for those who want to get down like that. Um, but yeah, man, you, 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 you can't, you, you can't tell something private to someone and expect them to keep it private. Now, I mean, granted, there are some people in this world, and I, I'm assuming that we all have people in this world that you could tell your life's most deepest, darkest secret to. But just because they're there, that doesn't mean that you need to tell them. Some shit you just keep to yourself. That should have been something between you and your wife. That's how y'all get down. That's how y'all kick it. So it's cool. Keep it between y'all. Uh, how do I not make my wife mad at me? Um, too late. <laughs> she is. Uh, your best bet is to apologize, apologize, and apologize. Uh, no, uh, no amount of money or gifts is, go is going to change that. You said it. You put it in the wind, and and it's been taken. You know. So it, it is what it is. And now that person knows how your wife gets down. So they're not looking at you sideways. They're looking at her sideways. I'm assuming, depending on what the kink was. Um, and did you really do something wrong? Of course you did something wrong. You opened up your mouth, fool. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Did I really do something wrong? Hell yeah, you did. Clown. A word to the wise. You know, we all are sexual creatures. We all do certain things. We all like certain things. Y'all know my motto. If you've been listening to this podcast long enough, everybody's a freak. Some just bigger than others. That's my motto. And, you know, some of y'all, I ain't no telling how y'all get down. And y'all probably listen to me like, ain't no telling how he gets down. And you're right, because I'll never tell. I just leave it up for you to assume what it is. But yeah, um, drunken mistake, you fucked up. I don't know how you're going to clean this up, but you better try. <laughs> That's going to do it for me. Thank you for checking out this bonus edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I am your boy, 12 Kyle. I'll catch you guys next time. Five G's.